Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ned. Welcome back to another episode of the Discord.js bot coding tutorial series. Today we're going to be doing the coins command and a method, or not method, but a way of getting coins by just by talking in the Discord server. So let's go ahead and just start it. Um, the only thing I've added so far today is the coins.js file. That's going to be the check coins and then the coins.json file. That's going to be storing them. We will probably do like some kind of MySQL, MongoDB, or SQLite or something like that in the future. But right now, this is just going to be JSON files. So let's go ahead and get started today. We're going to go ahead and define coins. Let's get it. Require. Oops. Coins.json. And now let's go ahead and check and see if the user that's sending this message is in uh, the JSON file at all. So if coins brackets message dot author dot id that's gonna be in a way to identify whose coins are whose um, if that does not exist then we're going to go ahead and create it so coins message dot author dot id is equal to coins zero so now that that is done we can go ahead and see if they're gonna get any coins so if they are we're going to do well to check if they are let's do let coin amount equal math dot floor then math dot random inside of that and then we're going to multiply that by 15 it's not actually multiplying but it's what we're telling it to do so we're going to do times 15 and then outside of the parentheses plus one so what that's doing it's going to get a number from 1 to 15 and it's going to set that value as coin amount. So now we need to do basically the same thing, just change it. So we're going to call this one base amount. And how we're going to determine if they get a coin or not, or the coins, the coin amount, which is what we're going to add to it, is we're going to compare these two. So if coin amount is equal to base amount, let's go ahead and add those coins to it. So coins message dot author dot id is equal to coins and then we're going to do coins message dot author dot id dot coins plus coin amount and now we need to save that file so inside the if here let's go ahead and do fs write file and then we're going to Point it to that file coins.json and then json.stringify coins and then let's get our errors whoops if error and then we're just going to console log that error Whoop. not console log console log all right so that should be good. I'm going to go ahead and change these values just for now and just to make sure that it works. And we're going to also console.log and then inside here, oops, coin amount. And then we're going to do all right, base amount just so we can see the values for ourselves. So let's go ahead and launch our bot. All right, online. And now let's just try it out. One, one. Coin should have been added. We should have one coin in there. And there it is. So now that we know it works, let's go ahead and give it a pretty little embed. And then we can start working on the coins.js file. So let coin embed equal new discord dot rich embed I'm just gonna make this short um, so set author message dot author dot username and then set color we'll just uh, I can't remember if this is the right one I want that should be red let's make it green 
I believe that's red. Alright, so let's make it blue. And then add field. And for this, we're actually going to go ahead and go here and get the money bags emoji. But we're going to make sure. So let's get the money one, actually. Money with wings. And then we'll just do a backslash in front of it. And it'll give us, um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's the emoji that we can use in text and in, in embed. So let's go ahead and put that there. And then we can do, oh, let's say coin amount coins added all right now we can go ahead and do message dot channel dot send coin embed and then we want to delete it after let's say five seconds just because we don't want that clogging up our um oh, what is it? our server there's there's the word i'm looking for so I, i'm sorry i'm not describing that dot then message and then arrow function and then we're just going to do msg dot delete 5000 and that's just defining this message as msg and it's just deleting it after 5000 milliseconds which is five seconds so that should be all done it's still going to give us coins every time so let's restart it all right one coins added one coins added one coins added one coins added it's working so let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and, well, yeah, we can change it back to 15. That's going to give you up the chance to get 15 coins, just so you know. So. All right, so I went ahead and changed it back to 15 just so we can keep it somewhat rare. We don't want to just overflow their their file with coins. Or not their file, but their account with coins. Well, we don't need to, but... Let's go ahead and move on. So, the, com the command that we're going to be doing is coins, and that's going to be basically it. We can build it to specify a user we want to look at the coins of, but since I don't have anyone on the test server right now, we're just going to not do that. Um, I've taught you guys how to do that in the past. All you need to do is check args1, and if it's a user, go ahead and define it as that user, and then use their ID to look it up. But since we don't have anyone on there we're just gonna ignore that for now so all right so this is gonna be pretty simple all we need is the coin so let coins equal require and then point it to coins again dot json and now we need to check if that exists and if it doesn't we'll just output zero but if it does we'll look it up so if coins message dot author dot id does not exist then we're gonna go ahead and create it again whoops message.author.id is equal to coins zero and inside of there let user coins equal coins whoops message.author.id dot coins just to make it a little bit more simple and then we're going to go ahead and just send them an embed Okay, so new or whoops, let coin embed equal new discord dot rich embed set author whoops message dot author dot username set color and we're just gonna go ahead and use the same one as before so zero zero well we'll just use green yeah. And then we'll go ahead and add a field. We're going to put the same money back, or the money flying away, whatever. And then we're going to put you coins. And the same thing here message.channel.send coin embed. And then dot then message. Whoops. Yeah. Message arrow function. And then inside the curly brackets msg.delete. And we'll just do this one for 5,000 milliseconds as well. All right. So now that that is done, we can go ahead and. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I just realized that when you're ever working in a um, 
a different folder or a folder deeper you need to go back to and then go into um, coins.json. So put another period there and you'll be all good to go. So let's go and start that guy up. And let's check my coins. So exclamation point coins. I have six coins. And just make sure after five seconds it does delete. And let's check. I do have six coins. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and leave that like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions at all about your code, anything at all, go ahead and join our Discord server. That's going to be down below. And until next time, guys, see you later.